we're at Dizzy's Animal Kingdom and we're going on a little exploration today as we uh, are going to explore the Maharaja Jungle Trek here in Asia where you get to see everything from monkeys, tigers to a Komodo dragon. So let's head off on this walking tour. One of the things you first see before you even walk in is it talks about the Amandapur Royal Forest and basically the backstory of the king who decreed this forest a royal preserve. He built a hunting lodge. And those hunting lodge ruins lie nearby as you walk through. The royal forest was given to the people of Anandapur. Today the forest protects not only the remaining tigers and other wildlife, but its valuable watershed of the Chakran Ranadi River. I, if I screw up words, it's all my fault. But let's head on in. This is a reminder, uh, the Maharaja Jungle Trek usually closes at sundown. As of right now, you still need to scan a QR code to get the trail map that will take you uh, through the Maharaja Jungle Trek and show you about the different animals throughout. When you first enter the Jungle Trek, the first habitat you're gonna see is the Komodo Dragon, which is Relaxing in the shade over there. Looks like the uh, habitat has gotten some new grass recently. So, sometimes they're active, sometimes they're just laying around. <laughs> well, the little signs that are added for theming remind you there are tigers encountered ahead in the ruins. Just to give you more of a feel that you're roaming through jungle. Another backside of the habitat for the dragon, Komodo dragon. Up there in the tree you can see one of the lion tail macaques. You said that There's three of them. Yes, they have red squirrels in their country, so they go after them, they say big Really? No. Sort of chilling. You have the bat one back there, mm -hmm. then up ahead you'll have the tiger and the uh, rubbing tree. Yeah, Here we go. Now let's enter where the bats are. And unfortunately the bat habitat is closed today. That does happen from time to time. So unfortunately we will have to skip that. Sort of sucks. <laughs> it's one of our favorite parts of the jungle track. You can also look through this window on the other side, but they do not seem to be out at all today. We then head up the stairs into the tiger habitat, or well, one of two tiger habitats. I don't see anyone over here right now. There's a tiger. They will often be found over here, sort of chilling out in the shade, especially on warmer days. Sort of hanging out here in the corner. Pretty cool. Grandma's leg is resting. One thing, make sure you take a look at the ruins as part of the tiger habitat. It's really cool how they've created all of this. No, over in this part, which gives you the illusion that it shares the same area as the tiger habitat as the elf deer grazing over here. Let's get a little closer look. Sort of quietly relaxing. Yeah, I think those are springback, maybe. They're not springback. You can see more of the ruins of the. All very pretty. And if you have any questions, there are keepers throughout the trail to the trek. And the interesting part on this one is if you look over there, you can see a tiger. And then over here, you see water buffalo. 
actually the bridge underneath there's a barrier but it's to keep both the water buffalo and the tiger sort of active and interested because they can see each other Coming up is the Red Pavilion, aka the Bird Avery area, and of course, you know, if you want to skip that, you can go that way. Also, visitors with service, service animals have to go that way. Before you go into the Avery area, you can get a closer look at it. Sometimes the tiger is back here, and this is a different tiger. There's two different tiger habitats. And they're sort of chilling out in the shade. Big cats do have a tendency to sleep a lot. <laughs> Remember, before you go in the Ava area, no food is allowed in here. You can scan a QR code to get a bird scouting guide. Spotting guide. Ugh. <laughs> Can't speak. So you can see all the different types of birds that are in this Avery. They are very active this morning. <laughs> And it's also springtime. Everywhere you look, you can even see a nest up there. There are birds everywhere. There is 27 different types of birds in this aviary. Almost 220. They're all from Asia, except for there is one bird from Australia. I'm not sure which one it is or where it is. <laughs> Definitely seems like it's feeding time right now. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the whole jungle trek, especially when they're very active. It is just amazing being around this many birds. One last path before you exit and you look through the trees, you can see the station for the Kali River Rapids. hear it and if you do come when they do have the guides back please make sure you return it of course right now still use a qr code so that's our little exploration of the maharaja jungle trek here in asia at disney's animal kingdom it's a nice wonderful trail where you get to see tigers monkeys komodo dragons water buffalo so many different types of birds from asia and australia it's an, always a nice way to, especially in busier parts of the day, to sort of go on the trek. And uh, it's usually, it's pretty shaded most of the way. So on hot days, it's nice. Um, but it's a way to get a closer look at some of the different animals here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Remember, it usually does close around or before sundown. And it is not open at night when the park is open late. So that's it from Disney's Animal Kingdom. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Subscribe, like this video, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the parks.